Lord. God is good, he has done me well. Oh my soul, oh my soul, there's a praise the Lord. God is good, God is good, he has done me well. Oh my soul, oh my soul, there's a praise the Lord. God is good, God is good, he has done me well. Oh my soul, oh my soul, let us praise the Lord. God is good, God is good, he has done me well. Oh my soul, oh my soul, let us praise the Lord. He has done great things. Hallelujah. Jesus has done great things. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Glory be the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Glory be the name of Jesus. Let's pray. Our Father in heaven, we thank you. We bless your name. We give you all the glory, God. We love you, Jesus, as we come before your presence, before you, before your throne, to honor you, to acknowledge you, and to give you thanks. Wonderful Father, we thank you. You are great. We welcome you. We welcome the Holy Spirit. We welcome you, Jesus. We welcome you, Jesus. We welcome the Holy Spirit to come in this midst in our prayers. In the name of Jesus. Father, we acknowledge your name and we thank you. Thank you so much. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 So, my title is... The deliverance prayers that work miracles. My title, I'm going to talk about the deliverance prayers that works miracles. Deliverance prayers that work miracles. And I'm going to read from the book of uh, Second Chronicles 32 verse 7. The book of 2 Chronicles 32, verse 7. If you find, can somebody read for me? Yes? I want to hear what the Bible says. And Kay, are you around? Oh, you've gone. Dave, can you read? Okay. So, I want... To see what your your Bible says. Second Chronicle two. Yeah, Second Chronicle thirty two, verse seven. Second Chronicles thirty two, verse seven. Be strong and courageous. Be not afraid nor dismay, for the king of Azariah, Assyria, Assyria, nor for all the multitude that is with him, for there be more with us than with him. Amen. 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 The Bible says, Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid nor dismayed before the king of Assyria, nor before all the multitude that is within him. For they are more with us than with him. With him is an army of flesh, but with us is the Lord our God to help us and to fight our battles. So the Bible is talking to somebody, it's talking to you, it's talking to you. Don't be discouraged, don't, don't worry. What the, the, the storm you see, the mountain you see, the problem you are facing tonight, the, the problem you are facing you, the Bible is saying to you, don't worry. Because when the word of God warning us, you have to obey the word of God. Some of us, some people, they are really worrying for nothing. And when the Bible says, do not worry, seek ye the kingdom of God and other things will follow. Seek the kingdom of God and other things will follow. The Bible says, do not worry about this king. The king means that problem you have. 
That, that is the king. Now, the sickness, the problem you are having is the king. It's, it's the king that is sitting on you. It's so powerful. It, it is bringing you down. It is, it's, it's making you to think and worry and cry and become bitterness. That is the queen right now, which is in you. Now, that king, don't worry about that king because he is using fresh. Anything you are facing, which is troubling your life, it is fresh. But with us is the Lord our God who will help us and fight for us. So with us, we go with God. And with the devil, he goes with the fresh. He uses the fresh. He doesn't use God. So that's why David, when he looked at that Goliath, he looked at him and, and said, You, I will come. I will come in the name of our Lord God, our, our God of Israel. God of Israel is going to bring you down. So anybody, anything that is using fresh, fresh, that's nothing. That's why the Bible is telling us, don't worry about them. Don't worry about anybody using fresh. Worry the person who is using the Holy Spirit, using God, our Father. That's when you can worry about that person. But the anybody who is using the fresh is nothing. The Bible calls it as it's a thing, it's nothing. So therefore, don't worry yourself so much as the Bible says. These things were there before. When the children were so much worried and they were crying to Moses and asking Moses, Moses, why are you bringing us here in the, in the wilderness to die? Does it mean there was no graves in, in Egypt? We would be buried. Now, when, the, when, when, when you face problem, you feel like God is not near you. You can worry yourself thinking and thinking and thinking, but it's good to think, but you don't, don't give the, the devil a chance to over, overwhelm you, to make you miserable, because this word is life. You may say, how I was talking to somebody who was thinking so much, and I, 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 said, I, I said, yes, if you think you will think too much, then you find yourself thinking negative. Why can't you let God to help you, as he says? As he, like now, the Bible says in Isaiah 40, 49, verse 25, the book of Isaiah, Isaiah or Isaiah, some, 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 some place they call Isaiah with the E in the New Testament, and here it called Isaiah with the I. So the Bible says, Isaiah 49 verse 25, for I will contend with him who contends with you. God is going to deal with the enemy that is dealing with you. He called himself, he said, I, for I will contend with him who contends with you. So any false accusation, any false witness, any, any false witness that is going giving false evidence against you, God would deal with them. So anybody who is doing th things wrong, fighting you, accusing you wrongly, God will fight that person himself. The Bible says, if you, you think that this prayer is only in Old Testament, that's why you need to read your Bible. The Bible says in the book of 2 Thessalonians, the 2 Thessalonians 1 verse 6, the Bible says, since it is a righteous Thing with God to repay with the tribulation those who trouble you. That's why we have the prayer which we, we call uh, uh, let God trouble you. Let God Almighty trouble my troublers. Any power that is troubling you, let God Almighty trouble you. And they said that God says he's going to repay with the tribulation, with the tribulation problem who troubles you. So God himself is going to fight the enemy with the tribulation. You know, he's going to bring a lot of disaster to the enemy who troubles you. Anybody, any human being, any personality that is troubling you, God himself is going to trouble him. That's what he says. 
And God's word is very, is very clear. It doesn't change. So, the Bible says in uh, Genesis 12, verse 3. Genesis 12, verse 3. This is a memory verse. Everybody knows this. The Bible says, I will bless those who bless you, and I will curse those who curse you, says the Lord. So, if you need blessings, bless people. But if you cast a person who is not be cast, it will not work for you. So, automatic, the cast will come direct to you. The Bible says that there they will be no curse where there is no cause. So, you, the person who is cursing somebody, you have a problem. This person you are cursing, he doesn't have any problem. But if this person is having a problem, yes, the curse will catch the person. But if this person you are cursing is innocent, the curse will come to your own blood and your own head. That's what the Bible says. When Baram was, when Barak was requesting Baram to curse the children of, 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 of Israel, God appeared to Baram and told him, no. You can't touch my, 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 my anointed one. You cannot cast what I blessed. I have blessed this, the children of Israel. And you cannot cast. If you try, you die. And then the Bible says, Baram told, told, told Barak, These people are blessed. There is no way that I will cast them. And the, the Bible says, In the Numbers 23, If you read it there, Numbers 23, 23, they shall no enchantment against Jacob. There will be no enchantment against you. There will be no spells and witchcraft against you. That's what the Bible says that serve not the witch to live. God has said anyone who is making chanting spells against you, it is not going to work. Therefore, child of God, you are full protected. Deliverance of prayers and miracles, it is going to work on you very well when you know these scriptures. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you. I'm going to look in another scripture uh, from the second uh, Chronicles. Second Chronicles uh, 20, verse 12 to 17. Second Chronicles 20, verse 12 to 17. These scriptures are all spiritual warfare scripture. And now, look at what the Bible says. The Bible says, For we have no power against this great multitude that is coming against us. You might not have power. You might not have the best lawyers. You might not have the best doctors. You might not have the money. You might not have what these people have. But listen what the word of God says. Nor do we know what to do, but our eyes are upon you. That is the prayer. Second Chronicles 20, verse 12 to 17. Yes. So, that, this is the Bible says, but the, you fix the, your eyes to God and you will see the salvation. You will see how you will win. Let me repeat again. The Bible says, For we have no power against this great multitude that is coming against us. Yes, you might not have power against your, 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 op your opponent. For example, if a, if a, if a minister takes a, a, st a step on su uh, support to, to court, this is hard to defeat this person. Because number one, he has money. Number one, he has the best lawyer. Number two, he can bribe. And he can't, you, can't, you can't defeat the person. But if you take this person to God and you fix your eyes to God, you will see what will happen to that person. So the Bible says, For we, we have no power against this great multitude that is coming against us. Nor, nor do we know what to do, but our eyes are upon you. Then the Spirit of the Lord came upon Jezel. That says the Lord to you, Do not be afraid nor dismayed because of this great multitude, for the barrel is not yours but God is. You will not need to fight in this battle. Position yourselves 
Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord who is with you, O Judah and Jerusalem. Do not fear or dismayed. Tomorrow go out against them for the Lord is with you. So the Bible is still warning you, do not fear, do not worry, do not, this, this war is not, this war is not yours. What you are going through is not yours. Leave it to God to fight for you. The Bible is warning you, don't worry. You know these people, the children of Israel, they were worried, they were thinking what to do, the multitude were following them. You can have multitude. The Bible says in Psalms 91, 10,000 will come. Psalms, Psalms 91, you know Psalms 91 what it says, 10,000 and 1,000 will come from the other side, but you will see them by your own eyes falling down. So that's why the Bible says, don't worry, don't fear them. Let God fight for you. This, this message is talking to somebody who is fighting, thinking, worried, worrying, because this one will not, will not help you. Fix your eyes to God. Tell God your problem. I have the video which says, tell God your problem. Like David was telling God his problem, what, what he wants God to do. That's why you need to communicate with your father. You have to tell him, Father, this is the situation I have. According to your word, according to your scripture, you have said, I'm not going to worry and I'm trusting you the way you have said that you are going to fight to me. I'm not going to be, to be, to be destroyed. I'm not going to suffer. I'm not going, this sickness cannot kill me. This problem that I am in, it is not going to destroy me or disgrace me. I am handing over to you. And you repent and ask God and wait upon his God. That's why the Bible says, and you will see the this, 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 this salvation, this salvation of God. So, you see, it is too bad for the enemy. That's why prayer, that works miracles. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Prayer, the, the deliverance prayers, that work miracles, they are really working miracles and wonders. Now, if you look at the book of Psalms 18, verse 47, the book of Psalms 18, verse 7, the Bible says, It is God who avenges me and subdues the peoples under me. He delivers me from my enemies. You have left me, you have wrapped me up above those who rest against me. You have delivered me from the fire and man. So it is God who avenges. It is God who repay. It is God who can deal with your enemies and subdue the peoples that who are under you. People who are under you are oppressing you. People who are squeezing you like like snake that squeezes you to swallow you up. People who are against you and, 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 and you, you don't know what to, to do. He, he, God will deliver you from, the, from, it, from the, your enemies. You might be in a situation where you, you, you don't know what. Everybody is against you. People are talking against you. Everybody, the, the whole family is against you. That's why many people... They go, they, they end them, their life because they don't, and they don't see where they, to go. They have reached a point of no return. So they feel like the best way we, they can do is to kill themselves or run away. Don't worry. If you are a child of God and you are in that situation, the Bible says that God will deliver you from that violent man. From that violent people, from that cruelty people, from that situation you are, that situation is called violent. That violent, that where you are, God is going to deliver you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Now, I am going to read, I'm going to end here soon. I've gone fed far, fed far. Now, the Bible says, in the book of Psalms 9, verse 3, the Bible says, Hallelujah. When my enemies turn back, they shall fall and perish at your presence. For you have maintained my right, my right hand and my cause. 
you sit on the throne charging righteousness. You see, when the enemy come back to charge you, when the enemy doesn't want to leave you, hallelujah, God Almighty is going to charge the, your, your, your enemies. That's why we have a prayer saying, let judgment of God fall upon your enemies. Let judgment of God fall upon any evil person who is around you who does not want you to go in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm saying bye to other, the, the, the other studio and I'm remaining this. If you want to continue with you, you, you stream, you can continue. Thank you very much for those who are listening and God bless you tomorrow. I will be on nine. Uh, I will be on five five b five a.m. So this 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 will continue part two. Remember to call me or Google me. Remember to call me or go to our website www.overcomersdhm. Ah, sorry, www.overcomersdhministries.blogspot.com. Or you can you can send email overcomers dhm at gmail dot com. Then you can get me. Thank you so much. God bless you. See you tomorrow, five five a.m. and and from there we are going to continue this program. Thank you and God bless you. Have a good night. Bye.